it's the first day of training. Welcome to a brand new vlog. This week, we're gonna take you through a training week. about to have some coffee and some breakfast and then I'll be on my way to training. I'm really excited to be able to start winter training in a good place physically and mentally so yeah I'm gonna take you with me. For breakfast um, I just made some overnight oats and added some honey yogurt, some fresh pear and some pecans. Let's go! Not you. You stay here. I'm not happy about that. I'm so happy to see this trick again. And it's a gorgeous day. Look at that sun. Okay, so for my first week back, I have... This is wet. <laughs> I have 10 sessions this week. Nothing too hard, nothing too strenuous, but a combination of running and gym just to get myself back into the flow of things. So today's a double day, I have a running session and a gym session later, so I'll take you through that. Um, but first things first, I'm going to go on a 10 minute um, warm up jog. And then I'm going to come back, do some strides and some stretches and then go straight into a grass session. Um, it's been raining this morning, so that should be fun. Rep done. Sorry, first set done. And I know it's October. I'm feeling very warm. So the tops come off. That means business. On to the second set. Two sets down. Definitely feeling the level of my fitness right now. Chest is burning. Consistent times. Very good first session back. Um, none of it was too, like, I guess it's hard on the chest because of my fitness level at the moment, but my legs feel all right, they feel good, which was kind of the plan because I think this week gets, I think it's harder as it goes on actually. I'm gonna take a quick break, in about half an hour or so, before I go to the gym. I made it to the gym. I have one, two, three, four, five uh, weight exercises and then some core work, which includes both abs and back. two sessions that I had today I would definitely say that gym was the hardest um, I think I had about five or six weeks out of the gym um, and even then like it was barely heavy and today was quite a lot of volume so it's a bit of a shock to the legs especially those squats I'm just gonna have a protein shake on the way home and have some lunch guys I'm so sore I just got to the track today's a bit of a harder session I'm running for longer with shorter recovery. With my sore muscles today, I'm kind of dreading it. Um, but we're gonna give it a good shot. It is a gorgeous day, look at that sun. How hot is it? It's well hot.
was a challenge. I had some 90 second reps, which to some of you may not sound like a lot, but for me right now in October, that was long. So I'm back home after gym and I realized yesterday that I said I was gonna have lunch and then I just didn't show you it. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you today um, because it's pretty much, it's actually it's exactly the same thing as yesterday because I meal prepped at the start of the week. And I'll show you what it is. It's not really a recipe because I kind of just put things together that I thought were gonna, were gonna be quite nice. So it's um, chicken breast and then in the oven I roast it together. Sweet potatoes, um, red peppers and some kale and then I've topped it with loads of seeds. So it's full of good protein, fats and carbs and then I'm gonna have this banana as well and probably a cup of tea afterwards. Cause I've got chicken, I've got a little, little someone who's interested in what I'm, what I'm having to eat. This is my protein, do I give him some? His little face. <laughs> How can I resist giving him some chicken? Happy Wednesday. We are almost halfway through the week. Um, I've just arrived at the gym to do um, a bike session. But I've actually cycled here as well, um, which kind of takes the warm up element out of it. So, two birds with one stone. <laughs> cycle home on dead legs that should be fun <laughs> actually they're not too bad I think today was a bit of a recovery session um, so I did like half an hour in the bike interval session and some core work some hip work and yeah that was it um, I'm really tired actually now so I don't have much on else today I'm gonna meet a friend for a coffee so I will probably see you tomorrow Extremely, extremely popular. This one's sitting with you. Oh, we got coffee. Just made it to the track. I've got another grass session. I have been on my own for most of this week, but look who I've got with me today. <laughs> she's joining me for a day because then she's busy again tomorrow. So for today's session, we've got 10 minute jog warm up, nice and easy. And then we've got eight 45 second runs on the grass, and the 45 second recovery. I have a gift. And I need it this week because my muscles are so sore. Can I use your nail soap? <laughs> I have no nails. I have nails. <laughs> I got it from um, Johnny Bing. <laughs> I got it from Adidas back in July in Eugene. So thank you guys for my gift. Ooh, look at it. Oh, I 
Championship. Uh, Nina's also got some filming today. She's very busy. Uh, yeah, I, I, that would be more than that. I, 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 yeah, yeah. We're gonna squish you guys and take together. So. Okay. It took so long. We're gonna tell our coach off for that one. It took so long. Running felt really great. It was nice. Um, but my body is definitely feeling very sore and it's getting more sore as the days go on. Is this recording? I hope it is. If you by any chance notice a difference in the quality of the camera, it's because I have switched cameras for the last part of the week. Lena is busy again. She's just gone to the Cayman Islands to lead her retreat, which we're all very proud of. Um, but she's taken the camera with her. So I've switched to a different camera and I've just arrived at my fourth training location of the week because um, today I have a hill session. I'm going to leave the camera in the car because um, I'm in the middle of a park in North London. So <laughs> I don't think it would be wise to take the camera with me. I am on my own today, except for my training partner for the, for the day. This is Logan. <laughs> he is whining because he really wants to go outside. He loves the park. It is a really short hill session. Um, it's one of Logan's favorite parks. So I thought he would do it with me. Logan, you ready to do some hill? It's Saturday. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to do session number nine of 10. Guys, I am so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. Oh. Um, I'm at training location number five um, because today I have trial runs. I have 500s. It probably is my hardest session of the week. I'm gonna leave my camera in the car because again, I'm alone. Um, it's a public park. So I don't know if I can leave it anywhere, but I will try and get some stuff on my phone. Look at the trees. So windy today. Okay, so um, I just finished that session, and my goodness, was it tough. I wanted to show you where I was running. So, this is the trail, um, it's approximately 480 meters long, so I have to run like an extra bit at the end. It's a Saturday morning, so there was a lot of dog hurdling, <laughs> a lot of kid dodging, a lot of people standing to watch which is flattering. <laughs> the drive to the gym is about 15 minutes so I prepared a breakfast smoothie so I'll have that on the way to the gym which is a short one. I'll see you in the car because I want to show you my breakfast smoothie. Okay so I'm back in the car now just did a little jog cool down which was hard because my legs felt like jelly. And I promised that I'll show you my breakfast smoothie um, I had some breakfast this morning. I had toast with peanut butter and a banana um, quite early, but I knew I'd be hungry. It's 12 o'clock right now and I'm not really feeling lunch just yet. So this is perfect. So the recipe is probably on Nielsen's Kitchen, I think, because <laughs> it's one that I do a lot. If you're not following Nielsen's Kitchen on Instagram, please do because it is a passion project of ours. We love sharing our recipes and um, our meals and stuff. There's a lot of calories in this one little drink, which is perfect for winter training. It's giving health. 
it's given health and wealth. So it's Saturday evening. Um, I came home from the gym hours ago and I realized I didn't show you any of that, but it's okay because it was just a couple upper body exercises and some core, um, similar to what I did earlier in the week. So you've already seen um, a lot of that. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching my vlog. Um, the next few months are gonna be really, really exciting and I really wanna share as much of it as I can with you guys. So I'm gonna have a restful Saturday evening, a restful Sunday, and I will start all over again on Monday morning week two of training and week two of this vlog. So if you want to watch that, make sure you subscribe. I'll be posting it on my YouTube channel. Hope you've enjoyed it and see you next time.